Hello and welcome to my second video. Today I'll be showing you how to control your computer and all that with just everything on your computer, just with your iPod, go on the internet, watch videos, and all kinds of stuff like that. Okay, first thing you need to do is go to your iPod and go to installer. Wait for it to load up. Okay, and there's gonna there's a source you're gonna have to add. It's the all iPod hacks one. Um, I'll have it in the description of this video. But if you don't know how to add a new source, then you just go up here to the top right where it says add or edit, and then go up to the top left where it says add, and then uh, just type in the name of the source right there, like whatever, and then I just hit OK. Um, I'll have the name of the source in the description of this video. Okay, but um, after you have that, then go down to networking, or network, where it is, there it is, right, network, and then go down to the bottom, it'll say uh, VNC, like V-N-S-E-A, VNC, you click on it, and it says uh, VNC client for iPhone. And right now the current version is 0.81, but it doesn't really matter because it works for whatever version of the iPod. Okay, then press install. Install it. And just go back home. And make sure you have BSD subsystem installed on here too. And I'll be a little icon that looks like that right there. Okay, now you can set this down for now, and go to your computer, and then go to this uh, website I'll give you in the description of the video, and that little thing will pop up, uh, and just click exit out, it doesn't really matter. And over here on this video, just click this direct link. If this one doesn't work, then uh, just go to ultra v and no, actually uvnc.com, I'll have that there too. I recommend doing this one, try this one first, if it don't work, then do the other one, but yeah. Okay, and I'll run this when it comes up. And then run. Um, okay, make sure all that stuff right there is uh, has a little check mark in it. Okay, and this thing, I, I want to create a desktop icon for it, so I'm just going to keep it right there. And just wait for it to install. It doesn't take that long. Okay. Now, let's see, look, yeah, if you click the create desktop, and then you'll have these two things right here. And what you're going to need to do is uh, go down here. Programs. I'll go to Ultra VNC, Ultra VNC server, and then it'll be the one without the I by it. And then go up to default settings over right over here. Oh, all right. If that doesn't work, then just double click on the blue eye. And this box should pop up. Hold on. Oh, there we go. Okay. Well, yeah, go to default settings. There's just something with my computer that I need to fix. Okay. Now, uh, what you want to do is up here, make sure that enable Java HTTP content is on. Allow loopback connection. And if you want, well, if like on your iPod, when you're viewing your computer, if you want the wallpaper on it, then... Uh, unclick this one right here, but if you want to keep the wallpaper while you're uh, checking it out on your iPod, then uh, just unclick that one. I have it unclicked. And right here, you're going to create a password. And remember it, obviously. And then just click apply and okay. 
Now this little thingy down there should pop up, a little blue eye icon thing. Now what you're going to do is go to your iPod. Go to that thing. I already have mine on here, but what, you, what you're going to do is go plus the little plus sign in the top right corner. Enter the name. That can be anything you want, just like your computer or whatever. I'm just going to put my name and computer. And then the address. That's uh, the thing right down there. When you hover over the little blue thing, the little address right there. The little address that pops up right there, that's going to be the name of the address. Where it says right over here. And then password is going to be the one that you entered on the, when you entered the thing. Yeah, it could just be whatever. Well, whatever you entered on there. I'm not sure what you guys entered, but. Um, then you want to click shared on. And yeah, keep view only off. And you just click save. I'm going to press cancel because I already have mine in here. And then to make sure that little blue eye is down there, it's still on. You have to have that on every time you want to get on your computer. And then just click this thing right here. The, it should save it. And then your computer will do like a little flash thing. And then there you go. On it. Uh, just look. I'm not even touching my mouse, but there's some chilling the mouse from my iPod. And then to, like, to move around, you have to use two fingers. And to zoom out and in and, and whatnot, that's the same thing as like on Safari. And you can also go si do landscape mode and all that stuff. But if you want to like use the keyboard and stuff, that's right down here on the bottom left. There's uh, if you want to right click, then make just click the little thing right next to the X, and that'll be the next thing you click on. Will be like a right click, and this is uh, for Alt. If you ever need to use Alt, I don't know. And then uh, more. That's like F1 through F12, uh, control, escape, and all that stuff. So there you have it. You can control your iPod from, or your computer from your iPod now. You can watch uh, m movies and all that stuff. But one thing that you don't can't do is uh, view music. I haven't figured out how to. I need to find my like a plugin or something. But you can't listen to music while on your iPod from your computer. I'm still trying to figure that out. But I'll have a video when I have it. And if you watch my previous video on with the send file, oh, uh, wrong one. The send file, all the uh, songs for the free thing. What you want to do is uh, go to QtFTP Pro. This is how you get them on your iTunes library. Go to QtFTP Pro. Yeah, if you, if you just wanted to know how to get the thing on the desktop, then you can just get off right now, because I'm not going to have anything else about that. Okay, and then you go to iPod, or wherever you have your iPod saved as. It'll connect, and then it'll be the first folder right there, Downloads. And then it's just, here's all the ones that you have. Just download it like you would something normally. Yeah, and then it'll just save wherever you have your QFTP Pro to save to. And yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. And then just save it to your iTunes library and uh, add it. So there you have it. That's it's that simple. So I'll see you in my next video. Um, I have two more that I should be able to put on. It I just need to upload them to YouTube. So thanks for watching. See you in my next video.